Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, <clears throat> it has been a really rainy, dreary week. Um, but I did end up running out to the local garden center, um, despite being a little bit under the weather, um, because they ended up getting in something very, very unique um, from Botanical Interest, and I wanted to grab some or grab one while they had it available, and it is this seed sprouter. And so this is what it looks like. It has two tiers and it all sits together. So this is a top venting tray and then you have the first tier, the second tier, and then the bottom water catchment tray. And then each of the middle tiers here, they have a divider. So we are going to be doing some microgreens basically here in the house or sprouts um they're almost they're almost the same thing um but i'm going to do one tier today uh we had invested in some seeds for this back here in the middle of winter and then we kind of went back and forth on the different trays, the different models, the mats with the coconut core, the just basic trays where you had to have a small layer of dirt. And we've just been trying to figure out what's going to work best for us. And when I saw this um, sprouter, <clears throat> I thought I'd give it a whirl because this requires no soil, as you can see. And I don't know if that came through um, here on the picture, but th these are actually little slats, little holes. So you do have to um, rinse these guys twice a day with water um, to make sure that they obviously sprout. And then, of course, the good news is, is that with this method, and particularly with me, because part of my main allergy is mold. I have a very, very intense allergy to mold and molds plural. So the problem with the coconut core mats and the fine layers of soil is always the intense possibility that I could be introducing some mold into my life. Whereas with this method, um, it's gonna be very, very obvious if there's any mold. Plus, I can completely and utterly sanitize this without a problem. This is actually dishwasher safe on the top rack, it says. Um, you don't wanna put on the lower rack, um, but I'll be able to scrub this out very, very easily and not have to worry about any contamination in the mix. Uh, there's also instructions on here, so I'm only going to do one tier, as I had said. I'm going to actually stagger, so I'm going to do this tier today, and probably three or four days I'll do the other tier, because according to the instructions, I should start to have these guys come up in about two to nine days, depending upon the variety and the seeds. So. I picked, and it came out of this packet, and it came from Botanical Interest. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, this seed sprouter is also from Botanical Interest, and then our seeds are. Now, when it comes to microgreens and um, sprouts, you want to get appropriate seed packets. So this is not something that you just run to the grocery store, obviously, and grab seed packets for because you're using a lot of seeds to do microgreens and to do sprouts. Um, so you want to get these larger packets of seeds, at least until you are saving your own, enough of your own seed from your garden where you don't have to purchase, but you want to make sure and get the larger packet. Um, so we're gonna do sunflowers and jazzy mix and the instructions recommend soaking the seeds for anywhere from 8 to 12 hours 
these guys have been soaking about nine. Um, and I just use distilled water. And all I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to dump them right here into the tray. And I do have the bottom waterer on here. And then I'll be getting rid of this water. Okay. As it settles. Okay, so they're going to be kind of a little bit gelatinous. I don't know if you know that, but if you ever soak seeds or pre-soak seeds, they kind of end up... Um, that little mem there's a membrane that's around them and when you soak them it kind of starts to get a little gooey so i don't know i'm not sure if you can even see that on here but there's a little bit of fluid on there the rest of it will drain through and then i've got our sunflower seeds that have soaked here And we're going to spread those out and then according to the instructions all I need to do is go on ahead and keep all of this in a single layer and it also gives like sprouter seed measurements um, and it tells you how much to use so I just kind of guesstimated based upon the rough size of the seeds how much I was going to need um, for each of these little separate compartments. But I'm going to go on ahead. I'm going to take this guy over the sink because we are supposed to go on ahead and rinse it out um, at least twice a day with lots of water. Um, and that's what really helps it to grow the best. So the one thing is, is that it will take quite a bit of water. So it's going to take about six cups of water rinsing it through. You don't necessarily have to keep it in the bottom tray that you see here to do that. You can literally just hold it over your sink and use your little sprayer and let it go through. That's what keeps them very hydrated. And then what you do is you pop this lid on the top like so, and you're good to go. Um, this little top part is supposed to help retain moisture without over retention of moisture if I'm understanding the way that it works correctly. Now one thing that the gal did tell me over at the garden center is that once she has them come up if she doesn't get to them within the first day or two but they're still good and they're fresh she just pops it in the refrigerator especially the smaller size she said because it'll keep it nice and fresh and she doesn't have to worry about any molding or any problems. She's had hers for over five years. So yes, this is a plastic product. It's BPA free, made in the US, all of that jazz, but it lasts a long time if you take really good care of it. Okay, so I'm gonna go on ahead. I'm going to take this over to the sink. I'm going to rinse it and then we're going to watch it over the next couple of days and see how soon we get sprouts. Okay. Hey guys. So it has been five and a half days since we started our little greens and look now I do know that obviously some of the sunflower seeds did not germinate, um, but they're, they're trying to actually. So it seems like the sunflowers have been opening up in stages, whereas my other greens here have come on just fine. So since this was such a success, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on ahead and show you guys step by step what I did so that you will know if you want to invest in one of these botanical interest sprout trays. Let me go on ahead and get you into position and we'll get the rest of this video going. Okay. All right, guys, so I have the top part. Now I'm going to put it on the bottom um, because I'm going to end up eating those greens that I've already grown on. So I'm going to, I've actually already got those um, out of the tray and I've washed the other tray, 
but I wanted to go ahead and get these next two going here. So what I have from Botanical Interest is a mellow blend here. And I have soaked it, as you can see, in water for about eight hours. And I'm just going to go on ahead and pour it in like that. The water will filter into the bottom tray area. Okay. And then I'm going to spread these guys out. I think that's one of the things that I needed to do the last time. They ended up getting kind of clumped up on me. And so I think I didn't get as good of a germination because of that. So I'm just going to try and kind of spread them out as evenly as possible. Which makes sense because when you're in the garden, same thing happens. If you don't have your seeds spread out, some of them won't germinate. And then the second one that I've got here is going to be a Chow Bella Basil Blend. So this is going to be very herby, which is actually sounds delicious. This one definitely has a little bit more of that mycelium. That's what makes it kind of gloppy. If you've ever soaked chia seeds, chia seeds will look a lot like this. It's a protective coating that they have. All right. And I'm just going to kind of spread this out as best I can. And it will get spread out a little bit more too once I take it over to the sink and spray it down with some water. You are supposed to, I can't remember if I mentioned this at the beginning part of the video, but you are supposed to spray this twice a day, every day. And if you want to hold any of the greens over, you can put the tray in the refrigerator. That is a really good tip if you're not going to get to any of the greens right away. Okay, so now that we're at the sink, I'm just gonna dump out that residual water. Rinse out this bottom tray really good. Try to keep it clean. Set that to the side. And then, now if I recall, you're supposed to spray through about six cups of water. I count for one minute. Okay. All right, so now all that I need to do is just wait on those guys to come up. And what I'll do this evening is I'll go on ahead and probably soak, oh, maybe two other varieties. And then in the morning, I'll put them on the top part of the tray and I'll have both tiers done. And I should be seeing some microgreens within the next five days again. This overall was a really good experiment. I'm very excited um, that this has worked out because it's a very small profile. I can get at least two salads out of it. They do have a larger one. So if you have a larger family or if you eat more microgreens than what I do, um, the larger tray may be beneficial for you. So guys, I've got nothing left here except to just enjoy my microgreens. And I will see you on the next video. So keep it simple, natural, and essential. See you on the next one. Bye. And P.S. guys, I will be putting a direct link to Botanical Interest for this tray so that you can purchase one if you are interested, okay? Once again, keep it simple, natural, and essential. We'll see you on the next video.